Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. And you have a Lenovo. Now, actually, I'm really interested in I this do. because this has been a very popular category, the yoga tablets for Lenovo. So Ashton Kutcher loves these things. He's paid to love them. Yeah. I hope I'm not disillusioning <laughs> you when I tell you that. <laughs> so the, they had this huge spiel. They have a bunch of commercials about Ashton Kutcher, who helped, uh, helped design these probably. Oh, he helped design them. <laughs> yeah. Interestingly wow. enough. So these are the brand new Lenovo Yoga Tablets 8 and 10. There so there's go. two different sizes. Yes. And they are basically exactly the same. They are these Android like, devices? It looks like they, they are. They're Android 4.2.2. Okay. They're jelly bean. I, and the reason I asked Lenovo also, of course, sells Windows devices, but this is their Android jelly bean. And they are available in 16 gigabyte or 32 gigabyte versions. The smaller one is very small. It's very cute and teeny like tiny. Size, it's only yeah. eight inches. So it's very tiny and it weighs less than a pound. It's 0.88 pounds and it's only 0.12 inches thick. So if I turn this on its side, you'll see there's this stand right here, which I'll get to. And it's very, very thin. Really nice, very compact. The back of it has this nice, well, it feels, sounds almost like a DJ pad, but it's basically, uh, it keeps you from textured. getting finger pins. Yeah. Prints. yeah, it's very textured. It's made out of plastic. So it's, you can definitely tell that it's a well-priced product. As far as the, as the price goes, the smaller version is 250 You can, well, you can get it for 250 if you have a coupon on Lenovo. 269 retail for the 16 gig or 299 retail for the 32 gig version. And this is of the eight. Yes. The 10 inch version is 319 retail for the 16 gig version or 339 retail for the 32 gig so these version are aggressively priced they are they're definitely aggressively priced i actually i thought the prices were you know very well right. well ranged Look, the, only, the only people that beat them are google pretty much right? yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. so the things that they're touting about this is obviously the stand it's like a little kickstand very cool and it's intuitive. It's it's a feature that I actually really enjoyed in testing these because it comes in handy so often. And usually you only get this nice stand if you actually have a case or, or a keyboard folio pad or something like that for your tablet. These have it automatically included. It's a little stand that you can take and put your fingers right here and it just presses in like that. And then you fold it out just by pressing in and pushing or pulling on it. And then you can set it up like a stand. Now, if you didn't want to stand, you, you're you going to be also, carrying around this lump all the time, you unfortunately. Can set it down like oh, that. that's nice, yeah. And you can use it just as a regular tablet. Now, the thing about using it as a tablet, if you set it down, obviously, you know, it's just right. going to sit like this. I found that it's very nice to be able to hold it. Oh, okay. So it gives you a nice little grip. So it doesn't feel like, you know, you have to put your fingers right against the back. You have a nice little grip for your fingers, and that's actually pretty useful for it. Um, I preferred that over having to hold my tablet just mm -hmm. like a regular tablet. Now, the sound quality on these are both very clear. I took a couple of videos for you. Well, it's a very customized UI, isn't it? It is. It's yeah. very customized. Yeah, Lenovo completely revamped the the UI on this guy. But I presume you could put a third party launcher on it. And make yeah, it look definitely. Like it. So I took nice a few picture. pictures. Nice picture. Very flattering. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. So both of these have the same type of camera. There's a front and rear oh. facing camera. The front one is. Uh, 1.6 megapixels, it's an HD, and then the 5 <laughs> megapixel rear camera. The sound quality, I'll hold this up to my microphone so you can actually hear it. I played a couple of videos. And let me turn up the sound. Boy, Miley Cyrus has never sound better. <laughs> I, I, I like that, yeah. Yeah, I sound great, don't I? So both of the speakers are on the front, which is also a very nice uh, addition instead of being on the back. So it doesn't get muffled whenever you're playing videos. The camera is just okay. It's pretty average for this, this price range. Now, the thing that I did not like about both of these is the resolution. The resolution on these are 1280 by 800 for each of them. So the larger 10-inch version, you don't get a better resolution on yeah, it. It's very low res. Very yeah. low res. They're both IPS screens, so they do have really good viewing angles, but you can really see the pixels yeah. on this guy. And that's that's a highly unfortunate product problem with this product. Yeah, especially if you're competing against the Google uh, Nexus tablets, which are very, very high res exactly. and lower priced. Yeah. 
And you'll notice that too, whenever you're, whenever you're reading text or you're looking at pictures or things like that, you're definitely going to notice a difference if you go, go from a Google tablet to one of these guys. So it's, a, it's definitely a giant con for me. So I'll get into my pros and cons. The pros on these, very thin, very sturdy feeling. They have a long lasting battery. The battery is also a big pro to these. Uh, you can get up to 18 hours on these. That's and that's with web browsing. Just on that yeah. alone, no yeah. extra battery. Wow. So this one's a 6,000 mAh. The wow. larger one is a 9,000. They get the same amount of battery. Very the difference is just for the differences in sizing. Um, yeah, it's a very impressive battery. And if you're playing lots of games on it and things like that, you could get around 10 hours, 10 to 12, if you're doing really, really heavy duty stuff on it. So that's a definite plus for me and very clear, very loud sound. I really like the front facing speakers. On the con side, low screen resolution, definitely a huge con. And I also noticed something strange about this. Whenever you press this down or bring it back up, down here along the corner, you can see a little bit of LCD phase shifting. So you can see a pressure difference whenever you move this tablet in and out. Very hard to see on the camera screen, but there's a definite change on the LCD screen right along here where there's a pressure difference whenever you're clicking on the tablet stand. Mm. Yeah, you can't really see it in the camera frame, but trust me, it's there. Here, I'll show you, Padre. I, I see it. I see it all the time. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, totally. Ooh. So Ooh. because of that that little problem, which may become an issue in the future, and because of the resolution, there are other options that are available right now in this tablet market, in this category. So I would have to give these a don't buy. Yeah. But I'm really, really hoping. This is the first generation of this yoga tablet. So I'm really hoping on the next generation that they create, and I really hope they do, I would love to see a higher, higher resolution version of this because I think that it, it would be a really good seller. $249 for the base 8-inch model compared to 229 and in fact, in some cases, less for the Nexus 7. So it's more expensive, yes. but, but gives you less than the Nexus 7. I think it's... I, good I think, battery, really cool tablet stand. Yeah, but. yeah. Did you do the pros and cons or do you want to do that I again? did. Okay. So <laughs> a buy, don't buy? I try. would give these a don't buy. Yeah, yeah, I have to think. If they could only get a little bit less expensive or a better screen. It yes, seems like the screen is a real disadvantage me. there. That would definitely Thank sell you. me. Thank you, Shannon Morse. Snubs, our producer. Love having you on the show.